Hi, beautiful people. I wanted to get on here really quick because I want to know um, school starting. A lot of people, a lot of kids are already in school. But I have this list, like I told you the other day. I have this list that I'm trying to get, and I want to know from you, where do you get your children's school supplies at? You know me, I don't have any kids, but I want to know where you get your kids' school supplies at because, I mean, where's the best place? Do you go to Walmart? Do you get it off of Amazon? Do you go to Target? Well, kind of Target is kind of more expensive. I don't think they have anything that cheap. I mean, Walmart's cheaper, really. Um, do you, for military wives, do you go to the commissary? I mean, not the commissary, the, the BX, BX. Um, do you go to Staples? Let me know, because I am so excited to get this. This is, um, we adopted, like I did say, we adopted a classroom from, with my church. So, um, Ryan and I, my husband, for those of you who do not know my husband, um, I rarely show him on here. But, um, if you get school supplies, where do you go? Where do you shop? Because I have to, hmm, I think I have to the weekend before Labor Day, so like maybe two weeks, maybe two weeks, I think. Gosh, I don't even know what today is. Two weeks, yeah. Um, to get the rest of these, and I got most of them, but, you know, so, like, sharpened pencils, pencil erasers, uh, spiral notebooks, binders, folders, crayons, glue sticks, markers, colored pencils, dry erase markers, post-it notes, and, um, baby wipes. Where do you get your school supplies? And please say hello. Um, to me if you are hopping on live and if you are watching on a replay, please put your name down so I can say hello and come back around, you know, see how you're doing because I want to know uh, where you get your school supplies. Do you, I hear that you can get them really good at Staples, so I'm, I'm wondering. Um, but I'm kind of in a crunch because you know, I work full time and then I have two businesses and I take care of my dogs and my husband's leaving for a couple days. So I've got to take care of my dogs, do all the things, take care of my chickens and, you know, get these done and the yard work. <laughs> so let me know where you shop for your school supplies. And um, another thing I do want to say that I, pro I might get in trouble for this because I don't know if the man is watching, but, um, hmm, as most of you know, that on my full-time job, I work on a military installation, and we are masked up full-time, and most of you seen my recent masks, <laughs> which is an amazing um, purchase for me and I will not mention at work because whether I am or not got the shot because it's I believe and let me know if you believe this too or not um, it is between me and my doctor not between me and my boss right? Um, I believe, and I believe it's every person's choice, their body, their choice, right? And I know many people have their reasons, and many people have their reasons not to, and that is completely fine, just like it is it is your choice to get your children vaccinated, shot up, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's your choice. And hopefully you 
talk with your kid too for that choice um, but I do want to say that we are being segregated because I don't let anybody know whether I am or not it's my choice it is back to segregation whether you wear the mask or you don't even though on base it's everybody mask up but now it is time where they're separating us if we won't say it to those who are already and fully said it so yeah talk about separating the world it is no different from black or white it is no different from voting your Republic Republican or Democrat liberal whatever it is no different it is segregation separation please let me know if you are I really don't care <laughs> if you're vaccinated or not vaccinated that is your decision to do it not mine it's not my choice to know it's not my right to know whether you are or not that is between you and your doctor not anyone else because I believe you don't go and tell everybody that you have to go for an annual whatever that may be maybe prostate exam or female exam right so I believe that nobody needs to know my business but me and my doctor my husband doesn't need to know it I don't tell him when I go get an annual <laughs> I just tell him I'm going to the doctors and he's okay with that but we all have our choices we all have our decisions but don't let speak up speak out and do not let people separate and segregate it's not right it's discrimination whether you are or not anyways it is late have a good night and thank you very much for watching and if I lose people for this that's okay it's, I'm voicing my opinion and I live in America and have the freedom to do so. I just hope that you don't because we are also losing the right to speak out because it's more of a cancel culture instead of debate, talk out, communicate. But anyways, I've said what I wanted to say. Have a great night, and please let me know about the school supplies. <laughs> Take care.